Launch the software by double clicking on the icon. You will see four viewpoints on the main screen, Axial, Coronal, Sagittal and 3D. Click the top left icon to import a DICOM file into the software. You can now locate the file you wish to import from your computer by using the file search window. You can import all the files contained inside a folder by selecting the folder itself with a single click and selecting Open. The new window will allow you to preview the chosen file. The cursors will allow you to rotate and resize any unnecessary portions of the file. This action is useful as it allows your PC to work faster. Care must be taken not to cut out any portions useful for planning or for creating the template. Once the operation is complete, click OK to proceed with the import. Hold down the left button on the mouse and move it to display and rotate the objects in 3D. By using the cut function, you can redefine and cut out any excess portions by clicking on the display itself to form the area you wish to eliminate. The function can discard either the interior or exterior of the selected area. To zoom in or out, hold down the right button of the mouse and move the mouse up to zoom in and down to zoom out. You can vary the preview method in the volumetric display according to your preferences or needs. You can also adjust the brightness and saturation of the display on the right side panel. The panoramic curve icon activates the display and generation of a panoramic curve. Once selected, the software generates a default curve that can be modified by moving the points or by deleting it to generate a new one. You can move along the layers of the DICOM with the mouse wheel to improve the display of the relevant anatomical details on the curve generation. Double-click to complete the curve drawing operation. Once completed, you can still move any of the plotted points and modify their positions. The icon on the bottom right controls the management of the curves by eliminating any unnecessary ones. During this operation, the screen changes by placing the panoramic display in the foreground. You can always return to the classic display at any moment by using the button on the left panel of the screen.